In neonates, hypoglycemia is common, and in severe cases, it can cause neurologic impairment. But how low is too low? It's currently recommended that neonates be screened and treated when the blood glucose is 60 mg per deciliter or less. But recent studies suggest that blood sugars as low as 47 mg per deciliter are safe. Lowering the clinical threshold would significantly reduce interventions, but would it affect child development outcomes? The CHILD study was a prospective cohort study of 528 neonates born at 35 weeks or more of gestation and considered to be at risk for hypoglycemia owing to maternal diabetes mellitus, prematurity, less than 37 weeks gestation, and other factors. All subjects were monitored and treated to ensure a blood glucose of 47 or higher. 53% of them required treatment for hypoglycemia, with a blood sugar of less than 47. The primary outcome was the developmental score on the Bailey 3 test at the age of 2 years, as well as measures of executive and visual function. At 2 years, developmental outcomes in the children treated for hypoglycemia were similar to those in the children who were also at risk but had not reached a glucose level below 47. There were no significant differences in the Bailey scores on measures such as cognitive, language, motor, social-emotional function, and adaptive behavior, or in the scores for executive and visual function. The authors conclude that neonatal hypoglycemia, when treated to maintain a level of at least 47 mg per deciliter, was not associated with adverse neurologic outcomes. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.